Hey, good afternoon, Greg. We are live on Blackford Street. Take a look just behind me as things are starting to wrap up here. They just removed the body from the ditch. It had been here for about five or six hours uh, since the call came in at 7 o'clock this morning of a suspicious vehicle. Now, when police came to investigate the suspicious vehicle, they called the person who owns the vehicle, that being Sandra Johnson. Sandra Johnson then came to look at the vehicle, and while here, she noticed some clothing in the ditch, and that's where she found her husband about 15 to 20 yards away. Her husband is Kenneth Johnson. He was in the grass and there was, a, she says, that there was a gun near him, but their police have not ruled this a shooting. They're still investigating this. I spoke with Sandra and she says that her husband was the outreach minister at a local church and that he was very involved in the community. He had left last night at 9.30 to go speak with someone who said that they needed some help and he said uh, to Sandra that he would be back with some dinner. That was the last time that Sandra had heard from her husband uh, who was then found this morning here at the scene. Now, police haven't confirmed that that's who it is, but Sandra, uh, trembling and with tears in her eyes this morning, told me that uh, that was her husband that she saw and that he was her best friend. Police are investigating this. Uh, they haven't been able to name any suspects. They don't know any motive, and they do not uh, know the cause of death. Again, they haven't said whether this was a shooting or not. Also, neighbors nearby say that they didn't hear any gunshots overnight or anything of the sort. Uh, and finally, Sandra says that uh, her husband not only was her best friend, but he was a good man, that they had been married for about 16 years, and that their anniversary was coming up, and they were planning a trip to Florida. And that was when she broke down while talking to me this morning and couldn't talk with me any further. Now, you're going to hear from her this evening on News Channel 9 uh, in our uh, later newscast. And we also hope to have an update on some of those unanswered questions from police. For now, I'm Drew Belay, live on Blackford Street. Back to you, Greg.